Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome to the Tuesday Wrap because I forgot about doing it on Friday. Sorry, my fault. Uh, hey, how's it going? How's life? This is my usual weekly thing where I kind of just talk about shit and I live my life. Uh, actually, this is going to be a little bit of a fan mail opening too because one of the things I wanted to do was go to my P.O. box. And I did go to my P.O. box and I got some stuff, a couple of things. I'm really excited about one of them because I don't know what it is and when it's a mystery, I like to, I get a little bit excited so we're gonna be doing that um and i am gonna show off an amiibo ha because that's what i do my name's mathis and i show off amiibos so if you follow me on twitter if you follow me on twitter which you should then you should know that i ordered uh the zero suit samus ganondorf and 30th anniversary mario all at the same time the place that I ordered it from and ended up saying that they sent the 30th anniversary Mario, but they didn't, and I had to send them a message, and luckily they were really quick. They told me, um, yesterday, I believe, or the day before, hey, we sent it out, it's gonna be there soon, and I literally got it last night, and I'm super excited. It looks kinda goofy, at the same time, I think it looks awesome. I got the classic colored 30th anniversary Mario amiibo. I think it looks really cool, it's a, it's a little bit bigger than a lot of them, um... But it's, it's pretty awesome, and I like it a lot. It's pretty heavy, and the base is a pipe, as opposed to, like, the normal black base. So, I'm excited about that. It's gone right up on my shelf. As you can see, also, I don't know if you can notice. Actually, let me point over here. Hung up my 100,000 subscriber plaque. Got a new poster over here that's all of, like, the controllers from Video Gaming Past. And then over there, you can't see it. Well, I might be able to, like, show you a little bit uh, of it. No, you can't. You can't see it. It's behind the light. There is a, uh, a Hulk thing hanging up, which is really cool. So let's get to the fan mail. I'm really excited about this is like, let me just, uh, this right here is the, the thing. It's hard and it feels, it's like, it feels like almost like a picture frame, I think. What is going on here? My wire is getting stuck. And a postcard um, that I got, so which is cool. Uh, da -da -da -da, where is it? I thought I, wait. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. It's right here. So, here's a postcard. It's from Sasha, again, saying, she, the girl from MIT from last time. She said, Hey, Mathis, just wanted to write you to say how much I'm enjoying your Minecraft series. It's fun to live the drama of Minecraft through your series. Organize a Boston fan meetup from Sasha. Uh, I might do, a, a, like, a Boston fan meetup in the, in the future. Um, it's something that I definitely uh, have thought about doing. I'm always iffy on doing fan meetup stuff because I never know how many people are going to show up and I don't want to show up and it's going to be like, a person there, and I feel kind of like awkward and like, thanks for coming to my fan meetup, single person. Um, so I, I think, you know, in the future, I definitely will. Uh, but right now, I don't know when. Let's put it that way. Last thing. So this is the, the thing, the, the big thing from uh, Mitchell. Mitchell from Australia has sent me something that feels like a picture frame. And I'm curious if he just sent me a picture of his nuts or something, which I'll hang up clearly. Eh. No tools. Or needed to open this, which makes me feel good. I'd have to reach around for like a spoon or something. What the hell? Okay, so we got a letter. It says, this can be read aloud if desired. And I'll open the... I, it's, it's cool. Alright, let's take a look. Hey, Mathis. It's all handwritten, by the way, so that's awesome. Uh, I think this is officially the first fan mail I've ever sent, so bear with me. Well, I appreciate it that I'm the first person that you've ever sent it to. That's badass, sir. And I thank you very much. I've been watching your channel for ages, and it's always nice to come home to a new video after uh, work. Watching your channel grow into a full-time profession has been inspiring and has helped to guide me into streaming and content creation. That's awesome. I hope you enjoy doing it. It's such a fun hobby. Even before I was doing it as a job, it was something I looked forward to coming home from work every day to do. So enjoy it, man. It is super fun. Uh, anyway, I know you've been bitten by the magic bug and it's a battle I've been fighting uh, or so for oh so long. Because you've missed so much over the years, I decided to put together a promo pack for you. There's some regular foils, some full art cards, and some launch event slash Friday night magic event cards. The case is more for transport, so feel free to do whatever you like with them. Display them, play with them, shred them to make a paper beard. Do I really need one of those? I really don't mind. I hope you enjoy this, and I look forward to seeing more Fight Night soon. Stay swifty, Mitch. Mitch, thank you so much, and I appreciate your handwriting is super easy to read. To read. So, let's see what we got, baby. So this is the, uh, the display, and... It's definitely stuff that I 
have not seen. So that's badass. So we've got all like cool stuff. So I'm gonna I'll go through the cards one by one here, but I want to show like a slow pan of what we got. The middle row is like the full arts. And then I'm gonna move it down around my microphone here. There we go. So the top three, we've got a Malfagor. Uh, he's flying 6-6 six, six legendary demon dragon. Uh, when Malfagor comes into play, discard your hand. Each opponent sacrifices a creature for each card discarded in this way. Interesting. Then we've got a Johnny Vengeance. He's a, a planeswalker. Uh, he has gain a loyalty, is target permanent, doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. That's pretty good. Lose to loyalty, a Johnny Vengeant deals three damage to target creature or player, and I gain three life. And then his ultimate is seven, uh, lose seven loyalty, destroy all lands target player controls. Yikes, that's fucking scary. Then we've got Dragon Broodmother. It is a 4-4 four, four flying creature dragon. At the beginning of each upkeep, put a 1-1 one, one red and green dragon creature token with flying and devour two into play. As the token comes into play, you may sacrifice any number of creatures. It comes into play with twice that many plus one plus one counters on it. Well, that's pretty good. Then we get to the, the three full arts in the center. And then at the bottom, we've got a... Uh, a, la a desert land, it's tap for one colorless mana, and then I can tap it in desert deals one damage to target attacking creature. Play this ability only during the end of combat step. Then we got Obelisk of Alara. We can tap basically one colorless and one of any other color, and they each do something. So if I do like one colorless and one white, I can gain five life. One colorless, one blue, draw a card, discard a card. Colorless and black. Target creature gets minus two, minus two to end of turn. Colorless and red, Obelisk, uh, Obelisk of Alara deals three damage to target player. Obelisk and green, or <laughs> colorless and green. Um, target creature gets plus four, plus four to end of turn. And then finally, uh, we got Browbeat. It's red sorcery for three. Any, play, any player may have Browbeat deal five damage to him or her. If no one does, target player draws three cards. That's interesting. Very cool. All right. That's a, it's a, that, I like I like what it got sent in. That's awesome. So thank you so much, Mitchell. That's badass. And thank you for keeping the magic itch going. I've got my Battle for Zendikar stuff on the way, so I'm, I'm pumped for that. And I'm going to have to look up what these like full art things do, like remove soul and stuff. But they look really cool. And full arts are badass. So thank you, man. That's awesome. Thank you, everybody. Like If you, if you want to send fan mail or you have something you want to send, I know I have people on Twitter ask all the time. Uh, you can check in the description of all of my videos at the bottom. There should be my P.O. box. Send it there. And uh, when I get it, I'll open it on camera unless it says don't open otherwise. So that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys are enjoying all the series on my channel. Uh, Soma is going well. I'll be finishing that up. Minecraft, I have some fun stuff planned for. And all the other good things that are coming on the channel. I don't want to spoil too much. There's going to be a video later today announcing a new series. Uh, that's going to be a big old collaboration with some big channels. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see all of you guys next time. Bye-bye.